I need to make a friend. <laughs> There's no one else here. I live alone, I work alone at the moment, and when I have a big moment, when I have a big triumph, I, I get excited, I wanna share it with someone. I was trying to make a thing work, and it wasn't working all day, and now it's working, and I'm so happy. But there's no one here to appreciate it but me. So, what I want is just a colleague. I want somebody that'll stand around and appreciate my genius. A high five bot. That's my idea. High five bot. I'd like to drop him into projects that I'm working on. I would love to have some sort of deploy system, some sort of button that I can hit. Boom. Deploy the high five bot and then he'll drop down and then I can smack his hand and it'll be real fun. For me. <laughs> also, there is a very cool program called Quill that lets you draw in VR and people have been making some pretty cool stuff with it and I want to learn how to use it too. And I learned that Quill can export FBX files, and Unity can import FBX files. So, I can combine my little Make a High Five Bod project with my I want to learn how to use Quill project goal thing. So, that's the activity that we're tackling today. We're gonna make a friend in Quill, and we're gonna bring him into Unity. He'll probably have to take a short detour through Maya so I can rig him. I don't know if you'll be able to see at all what's going on, but he starts with his arm down, he's got a, a, a button on his chest, and then when you push the button, or in my case, I'll probably excitedly punch the button because I'll be just so thrilled by whatever I've just accomplished, he raises his hand for a high five. Um, just like as a bonus goal, I'd love it if I could figure out some particle effects. I don't know if I'm, now I'm doing, I gotta learn Quill, I gotta learn Unity stuff, I learn particle effects it's like a lot of new stuff but yeah ideally I would love if there was some sort of cool effect that happens when you do high five him but that's kind of a bonus goal number one we got to just get him made in quill rigged and then into unity quill is kind of the wild card um, I'm optimistic right now that may be a mistake <laughs> let's just see how this goes what, how did I end up here? Um, uh, uh, why does this hand toggle this hand? That's, what? Get, what? Get, play and stop is the star. The star. Oh boy, I want a different tool now. Oh, oh, oh. Why does it just keep going up? I'm trying to go, I'm going different directions. Why is it just going up? Undo, Un undo, please. Pick a color. That is not what that does. I just, I just, what? Oof, all right, can increase the tool size. Whoa. Well, now I can't read anything. Great. Switching tools. Whoops. Switching tools. Switching tools. Make the tool bigger, make the tool smaller. Draw with the tool. Let's draw us a little, a, ro a robot guy. Make him a little cylindrical. Oh, that's not very good. Circle. Oh my god. There we go. All right. <laughs> this is so difficult. Beautiful. Okay. My god, what is this mess? What did I do? Learning. Learning. <gasps> oh, this changes everything. Okay, this was completely the wrong approach. I get it now. This, this is what these tests are for. Oh, okay, Quill. We're friends again. We're friends again. I like this. I like you. This was fun, but I'm gonna delete this guy. All right, he's gonna be taller than me because most people are. Moment of truth. Oh, he's teeny tiny. He's so teeny tiny. But there he is. He looks like he's supposed to.
simple as this project is, I'm still pretty new to this, and I still managed to mess him up the first time. Not only had I managed to set up the collider on his hand incorrectly, I'd set up the physics on my hand controls wrong as well. After a few very scientific tests involving cubes, I was able to troubleshoot the problem and get the hands working again. Hey, Skillman! Look what I made! It's pretty cool, huh? High five! You just don't even appreciate He's basically your brother. He's your baby brother. I just brought him to life. I mean, he doesn't do much, but, uh, let's be fair, you don't either. After a sloppy crash course in particle effects, he was done! And who better to congratulate me than High Five Bot himself? Look at this, look at this, look at this! Look at you! Check it out, you're here, you're here, you're in unity! Isn't it crazy? I mean, there's not much in this particular section, but, you know, I'm sure I'll find something for you to do. Ah, oh, I'm happy. I'm so happy this finally worked! Ah, oh, this is great, this is great. Look! Hey, Skelly Man, look what I did! He's here! He's in unity! He's from Portal 2, you know? I mean, you don't know. This, it was easy for you. This engine was always your home. You were always made to be here. He came from Source. He came from a different game engine. It was really hard for him to get here. I had to download all these different tools to rip them apart and put them back together again. It was like a whole thing. Look, 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 look what I made. Look what I, look, well, I didn't make him, but look, look what I got. Are you not like at least a little enthused that there's like another person in here with you now? There's another thing for you to look at and breathe at and threaten with your axes. You don't, you don't, you don't get it. You don't see why this is so cool. You don't get what's cool about this. Yeah. You know Portal, right? Yeah? Heck yes you do. Well, welcome to Unity. These are your, these are your roommates. Uh, they're great for conversation, especially this one. So, uh, yeah. En enjoy the, the void, I guess. Wow, you're really going, huh? I should probably turn down the bounce physics material, like, like a smidge. Nothing? Alright, well, you boys have fun. Yeah, so that is High Five Bot. Pretty fun little adventure. This is High Five Bot 1.0. I'm gonna make several more iterations. Maybe his head will explode. Maybe he'll have ragdoll physics. I, I don't know. I'll come up with lots of stuff. He'll keep getting better, I'm sure. I'm sure you'll see him again. And maybe I'll make an anti uh, High Five Bot. Maybe I'll make a commiseration bot for when I screw up because <laughs> that's probably gonna get a lot more use. <laughs> if you enjoy the silly things that I am doing, consider subscribing because I have lots of ideas for more ridiculous things that I would like to make. I'm gonna put links to the 
quill artists that you saw in the beginning, plus all the music that you heard, plus the tutorial that I used to figure out how to get him from quill to unity. I did breeze over some stuff in the video, specifically his shaders. When he shows up in Maya, he's all gray and you have to do a little work to get his like colors to show up. And same going into unity. It's not that hard though. I used a couple of forum posts to figure it out. I'm gonna add that in the description below. It's all gonna be there for you um, if you care, if you wanna try something like this too. I think this is a really fun workflow. Um, obviously, High Five Bot right now is just kind of a stick figure. Um, hopefully I'm gonna get better with Quill and I'll be able to make better creatures and things in there. I think I can figure out how to do some pretty cool stuff with Quill and Unity together. So I'm glad that I did this. Cool. Thanks for sticking it through to the end, even through my stupid Wheatley skit. I'm amazed you're still here. Yeah. So all the resources you should need if you want to do something like this are in the description. I hope someone else will give it a try. Hope you had fun and go make something cool. <laughs> Bye.